okay so in this lecture let us see how to mouse over on any menu basically we say this as a mega menu where if we mouse over then list will display i'm just moving your mouse over to here so how to handle and how to mouse over using cypress if you are on selenium you have a class called actions to actually do all these um, activities even in protractor but in cypress unfortunately they were not supporting to mouse over okay so they felt that this behavior will turn into flaky if they write commands to mouse over so if you are really experienced with automation you will understand the pain point here most of the times when you are working with selenium test you will try to mouse over but it will quickly disappear okay did you observe any time this it will work but somehow it will also turn inconsistency sometimes when you try to mouse over it just appears and go away and then it will not able to identify the element this is most flaky behavior in selenium but i really impressed that cypress guys have openly told that and said we are not supporting it then how to handle this don't worry cypress have a biggest asset called jquery right in jquery we have a function to trigger that um, mouse over okay there is a method called show which will actually open any menu which is hiding on that specific tab okay so using that show method we will actually try to open this mouse over so there is no direct support in cypress but there is an alternate what cypress is providing us that is more stable if you use jquery method because we were manipulating the dom to open the menu so it will never fail it will perfectly open okay so create one more test because this is totally different example so test 6 so we have already used one jquery function earlier if you look at that invoke method isn't it there we want to remove the attribute target so we used that so here see first of all you need to move to that element and then apply id mouse over so you can you can use single quote or double quote it's up to you sometimes i'm using double quote sometimes i'm using single quote so don't worry about it so there is a method called show method in jquery okay so look at here show method in jquery is used to display the hidden and selected elements okay so right now on this method if i move to if move if i move my cursor to this using cypress and if i hit show method jquery will show all the hidden elements which are lying under this tab or button so we know that there are two hidden elements lying on this button so if you use this show method how to invoke any function of jquery using cypress you know we already did this in earlier lecture when we are dealing with child window handling invoke show that's it if you go to that particular button and invoke this function it will pop up all the hidden methods so with this function execution this will clearly opens up and now you can actually handle this so top is the word here right inspect on this you have details of href attribute but remember we have a locator called contains so simply you can pass this text by writing cy dot contains so it will search for top keyword and whenever it found it will just click on this perfect so now after i click on top what happening it's going on to the top of the screen isn't it and also carefully look at url url is changing slash tab hash tab is getting added to your url right 
so let's keep a check of URL as well here so that we can confirm if that top button is successfully clicked okay so cy dot URL so that it grabs the URL for you should if you want to just check substring include what include this top if you see top in your URL that means we can come to conclusion that that button is successfully clicked and we are on the top of the page okay this is the proof all right so let's run this and see how this goes so concept here which you need to grab is that there is no direct mouse over support in Cypress and you can do that alternatively with your jQuery function called show and you can call that with this the invoke method nice so test 6.js so it did not invoke right why why did not this happen okay so let me explain you now so basically we have given this mouse over and it should click but the top and reload what all we are looking for is an immediate parent of this mouse over content okay so we have given this id mouse over but that is not immediate parent to this hidden element stop and reload basically our goal is to show all the hidden elements isn't it and when you apply show method on this particular element then jquery will look for it immediate child which is stop reload and it will show that so right now we are on the super parent that is grandparent which got cypress and jquery to confuse so instead right so just put dot so that it will treat that as a class name dot class name will turn into your css and tag name is always optional div so now you understood right i missed to tell that important concept so when you apply method any jquery it applied immediately to its child elements so earlier it was a grandparent so jquery confused now we are exactly targeting its the hidden elements parent element and on that we were clicking on show so it should now work like a charm perfect you see that hash top but execution is very fast so look at here the window is open so on dot show this is getting open earlier it's not open with after reaching this but you invoked jquery show method so the top and reload got opened and then you selected top it went to that url and you matched it so this is how you can handle mouse over events using cypress remember this jquery function that's it so what cypress guys are saying here that cypress have an ability to click on hidden elements as well okay so as per their documentation i will show the click command usage um, yeah if you read their click command documentation they were saying that we have an ability to click on hidden element as well look at here forcing a click overrides the actionable checks so here is the argument if you pass this argument let us say if the element is in hidden mode cypress will automatically bring that into visible mode and it will click on that so when it brings to visible mode you will not able to see that internally cypress talks to the dom and understands that particular element is in hidden mode but it will try to forcibly click on that which will work for us 
now in this example top and reload are firstly in hidden mode right look at now this is in hidden mode but without using this mouse over you can still click on this stop button using cypress now i can still comment this step this is used when your test case says that verify the pop up is displaying when you mouse over and then click on top button if that is your requirement you obviously have to use this jquery function to validate the scenario of pop up opening but if your requirement is only to click on this stop and if you really don't care about if mouse over is happening or not in cypress there is trick that you can forcibly click that element so when you ask to click on forcibly cypress will actually look in all hidden elements as well and if it found that top is in hidden element as you give an argument to force click on that it will just go and click the top button without opening that menu so that's the beauty of cypress which cannot be done by any other automation tool now let us first i'll remove this first i'll put normal click let's save this project and see what cypress complains initially let's try to understand that log so that you will better appreciate why to use that force true look at here it's trying to click but it's not finding right now it is saying that it was very very clearly saying that element is not in visible mode that is why i am not able to cl click at the same time it is saying that fix this problem by using force true to disable error checking basically when you use this they were clearly telling that pass this force is true so that i will also check hidden elements now with the argument setting force true and it will click internally by dom and let us see how does it happen now look at now it clicked on it even if it is hidden it did not open this pop up if you look at each and every step there is no mouse over pop up open but it still managed to click that's the beauty as i said cypress talking to the internal dom by passing this argument and it's making sure that it will click on the invisible element and then finally we got this url all right keep this concept handy that sometimes you may need to handle invisible elements and that's a painful point in any other automation tools to handle invisible elements i see a lot of questions from people asking how to handle the element which is not in visible mode there is no solution for this in selenium but yes there is solution in cypress and i have shown different approaches one is to make it visible with the jquery function which is great and another is to pass force true argument in click method it's up to you which method you use but whenever someone ask you to handle mouse over or invisible elements this is the way okay so that's pretty much about this lecture i hope you got some new understanding from it so if i go back to my excel sheet of understanding the concepts did we learn anything new from last two lectures yes you can traverse to sibling with the next and it works only on get this is what we learnt from table example and mouse over events sorry mouse over events are not supported in cypress so this is just a notes for reference i am just grabbing and writing core concepts of cypress so that you can just go through to understand how this architecture is working use cyp jquery or force click perfect so let's meet in our next lecture with one more new topic thank you